Are turning our attention now to the pandemic. Right now, 73% of eligible San Diegans are fully vaccinated from COVID. But that still leaves more than 700,000 people in our county who aren't. And with that in mind, right now, volunteers are going door to door in City Heights, encouraging people to get the shot. Fox 5's Liberty Zabala live for us with uh, why the focus today is in that specific neighborhood. Liberty. Good afternoon, Andrew. Well, we are in City Heights because volunteers say specifically those in the minority communities are often fearful of the vaccine or don't have the right information about it. And that's why volunteers are canvassing this neighborhood to encourage their neighbors to protect themselves from COVID-19. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you for always supporting us in this kind of activity. These volunteers are going door to door in City Heights to open some doors and eyes to the COVID-19 vaccine. Muy bien, muy bien. I would say it's a countywide problem. We still have almost a half a million people who are not getting vaccinated. The Employee Rights Center has launched a campaign of phone banking, posting flyers and door to door canvassing to increase vaccination rates. Bien, eh, mi nombre es Valerio, soy... They say City Heights a largely immigrant population and other nearby neighborhoods have vaccination rates under 55%. We get those negative, fearful kind of responses to that. I'm not ready. I'm going to see what's going to happen. But with COVID-19 cases on the rise with the emergence of the Delta variant, volunteers hope their efforts can build trust of the vaccine. Really consider the fact that this could be good for you. This is not just kind of one side talking. All kinds of people are saying this is a good step for you and your family. And the Employee Rights Center also plans to hold its own vaccine clinic on August 28th at its office where people can go get the vaccine without even setting up an appointment. For now, live here in City Heights, Liberty Zabala, Fox 5 News.